Hello boys and girls out there on this uh, mud ball we call Earth the World. Uh, ultimate fall here and I was as I was walking up slowly towards or quickly whatever to this uh, classic in its own right Chevy van I thought to myself you know I was gonna start recording like down there more at the beginning of this block here in Montreal the Hushalaga sector yeah we got dumped with 40 centimeters of snow uh, and uh, it's about four feet in the you know the regular uh, scale of things. I think that I've uh, come to realize last year that the metric system is the fucking tool of the devil. So anyway, uh, it is beautiful though this afternoon. It's cloudy this morning. Look at the contrast, gorgeous contrast with all this white shit. And actually for some times in the future, so those brief times, it actually doesn't look like shit. The sun and with the blue skies and all the added color of the light makes it beautiful. Even then, I'm, and I'm still glad uh, today, as I was yesterday, that actually as much as I'm addicted, addicted, a complete fucking fanatic of old vehicles, cars, trucks, buses, trains, whatever, and I can't drive them legally, but, you know, again, look at this street, man. You know, you gotta dig your car out, and you gotta get in or out, and it's like, it's a big fucking uh, hullabaloo. And, uh, yeah, so I actually uh, spotted this Chevy the first time I saw it was sometime last year, I think in the fall, I don't remember, and then it was like a block from my place, literally. And I'm like, oh, no, wait a minute, uh, 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 bite my tongue, this is not the same one. Shit, I thought this was the one I saw on uh, Davidson Street. It was navy blue, this one's burgundy. And I gotta get out of the way for that car coming. And, uh, but yeah, again, that's really, an, uh, even when I was thinking about coming to film this thing, just doing a quick video, since it's fucking snow covered there. Almost has that look like it's been there like that for a long time, but nay nay. Anyway, uh, when it comes to any kind of uh, oldies that I film, generally 25 years or older, these are an exception to the rule. Oh, 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 is that 248? Hang on, guys. Well. Well, I was really sure at one point that fire truck was going to come right down here on the street here on Aylwin Street. But, uh, good, good for you, Mr. Firefighter Service Saint-Sanzi de Montréal. Wail that siren, that's what it's there for. Fuck, people today, they're in the clouds, they're texting, and they're talking on their phone, and they're eating, and putting on makeup, and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. I don't have all fucking day. I gotta go find a, at least, I gave myself two snow removal operations to film. And I'm going to go to the RDP sector in that area, you know, fucking Montreal, North St. Leonard, whatever I can to find the old shit like this stuff that's about around this age, 95, 94, 93, fucking snowblower, SMI, LaRue, Mac dump trucks, whatever. I'm not retro old school for nothing. I do this fucking full time. Look at the cool reflection there is in the glass here on the side of the two buildings. Man, that's almost a picture right there, but I'm not going to do that. Anyway. Yeah, good old Chevy van, eh? Built in this particular body style from 1971 all the way to uh, 1990. Somebody told me recently in 96. I always thought it was 95. You know, sometimes I get comments from people and they think they know what they're talking about. And I'm like, yeah, right, whatever. You know, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so, uh, right. I didn't wear my boots. So which way should I go here to get to this thing on the other side here? Uh, putain là, c'est là. Oh, regarde, il y a un space ici, là. C'est pas une vidéo bilingue, mais whatever, si tu comprends pas l'anglais, tough luck, Charlie. <laughs> pas pour être méchant, là, mais... Bon, on va juste tasser ça, le site d'affaires de recyclage, là, de... Move this fucking recycling thing here. There we go. Now, um... Uh, before I forget, one of the things I love about these particular Chevys is when in 89 or 90, they did this... Uh, they did this style of like the Silverado pickup, you know, like that really wide looking grill with the, you know, horizontal uh, kind of like dual looking headlamps, Euro style, whatever. And um, that was really cool, you know, and uh, I, what I was trying to say before I heard that siren is that I think out of all the classic, or if you want to say classic, people use the word classic very, uh, you know, very loosely. I mean, this is not a classic. Yeah, to people who love these and I like them too, it is a classic, but technically it's not. Anyway, out of every old vehicle I can imagine I've filmed repeatedly that I've spotted here in Montreal or wherever, these ones are the most prevalent. The Chevy and the GMC, the GMC Vandera, the Chevy G20, G30, 
Um, they, they're just, you know, it's a true General Motors vehicle. You know, it's the ultimate dependability. 5.7 liter, usually a 350 gas V8. Then you had the diesel and uh, I don't think you could even have a, I think some of them maybe had a 305, I'm not sure. Um, that's funny, I'm having a flashback actually to something is that I filmed one of these, uh, I think the last time was in December in Longueuil, just south of the island down there, near the metro. And it was interesting because it was a bit maybe about these years, except the fact that uh, the uh, the grill was the more typical grill, you know, like the two headlights and the, if you know what I mean. And, uh, and it's funny because that van was white with, it was like the opposite of this. It was like white with the burgundy striping and all that and the... Uh, you know, and what's great about these trucks, again, you know, you, you, you got to pay up the ass on gas. There's no fucking economy when you own something like this. But they're peanuts. You know, a few thousand bucks, get a really nice one. Don't get one with too many miles. Make sure to have it inspected if you're not a mechanic. Uh, you know, because the worst thing, of course, about these, specifically in this part of the world, is that most of these things, I think, come from B.C. or out west in the States because they all rusted out here. Like that Econoline that just went by. I don't know if you got a glimpse of that. That thing's going to be in the junkyard. Rust, the cancer of cars. Anyway, I would make that a little longer, but there's too much snow on it. There's too much snow all around it. It's like an island. You know, it's like that song by Simon and Garfunkel I love, you know. I am a rock. I am an island. And a rock feels no pain. I touch no one and no one touches me. I am a rock. That's how I feel sometimes about my life. That's the life of the loner, you know. It's kind of a fuck the world kind of a thing, you know. I'm just like, I'm a rock, I'm an island. I don't touch no one, no one touches me. That's it, man, simplicity. It can be uh, lonely, but, you know, compared to a lot of problems, uh, a lot of people have problems with people. I'm like, meh, mine are minimal. Anyway, so that's it. So uh, take it easy and uh, uh, sayonara. And don't take any wood nickels. Uh, that's what Mike McDonald would say.